Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Prime, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Now, for the most part, the glitches that come along in the past, the glitches that we find, the stuff that happens, we use those to our advantage, and we find things to, to do them with. And every once in a while, there's these glitches that come along that are game-changing. They are destiny-altering. They bring the level of the game of lumber to a completely new level. So before I get started, let's just take a moment to appreciate the door bridge. Okay, that is a glitch that was found, and we found a way to make it useful. All right. Same thing with the um, the passing through items, the the wall glitch. Okay to be able to pass into areas that we're not supposed to be able to get to. These are game-changing things, right? Um, what is something else? Something else that we have found. The, what is the glitch? Long plank, the long plank glitch. To be able to make a piece of wood really long to get to places high up that we normally wouldn't be able to walk to. These are game-changing glitches, okay? The, the modded sawmill. The ability to make these massive, massive pieces of wood. Uh, just like such. Like this one. You know? These are absolutely game-changing things. So, um, the next one in our artillery, the, the, the next one in our toolbox, what I am about to show you, this is a game-changing revolution. It's, it's huge. And... The implications of what can be done with this glitch are amazing. So yes, I am the real code. <laughs> yes, I'm real. <laughs> um, so have you seen where a piece of wood gets stuck halfway in the ground like this, right? We've always needed a way to try and try and get these pieces out, but we could never get them to to work, right? So. Um, huge shout out to Vel Veldarian, Veldarian. All right, before I before I get started, hold on. Veldarian, Veldarian, V E L D A R E N. Okay, go over to his channel, go over to his Twitter, like and comment and follow and subscribe and do all that cool stuff because he's the one that actually pointed this out to me on how to get your wood unstuck. Look, see this wood right here. All right. Here's how to do it. Real simple. Open up your uh, your blueprints, and you're gonna go to the floors, and you're gonna make sure that you have a tiny floor, just like that. All right. See so you have the tiny floor like um, kind of travels around as you as you're moving. It's welding, and we didn't realize that it was welding. And he happened to point this out that if you hit R and T while that little blueprint is on there, you can absolutely control the pieces. So if you turn it while it's in the ground, and then you grab it, guess what? We just got an unstuck piece of wood out of the ground. Look at that! What in the world? How is it possible? So, <laughs> uh, congratulations to Val Valdarian for uh, finding this. And I'd seen this, somebody had sent it to me like months ago. Only it was it was dealing with uh, with this stuff right here. So like if you do uh, rotate, well, that doesn't work. Uh, maybe maybe this one. Rotate turn. No no. It was with the doors of some kind. Hold on. Um, maybe it was with the hatch. It could have been with the hatch. Hold on. Let's try the hatch. Yeah, it's with the hatch. So you can do that to the the doors and the hatches and stuff like that. But. From what I can tell, you can you can rotate and turn things, turn, rotate, rotate, turn, turn, rotate, on loose items, okay? Now, this is especially effective just on wood, turning it and, and attaching it and getting it out of the, the ground, okay? This does not work on other people's wood. Let me make this perfectly clear. You can't take this and steal somebody's wood, as far as I can tell. This should be safe to to use as far as um, Defaulty is concerned. Um, I did need to show him this, but I think it's safe to say that 
This can absolutely be used and implemented in ways that we've never imagined before. And I've started testing some. So that's what we're going to do tonight is I'm, I'm going to take you through, show you what I've found. And you tell me what you think down in the comments because this stuff is unreal. Look at this, look, 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 look. I'm just, I'm just turning it all. Maybe it's, it, is it stuck? And I just unstuck it? That's amazing. Oh, there's a, there, it looks like there was a piece, yeah, there was a piece stuck under there. Uh, is that one? It's not stuck. Anyhow, let's, let's go play. Let's go play. Okay. Um, so something else that we have is, um, we, we've been working to try and find, I found little techniques that help out truck flipping. It, when your truck gets upside down, this is huge. Like I said, game changing feature right here. Let's say I'm driving along, doop a doo, doop a doop a doo. All right, oh, turn the lights on. How's everybody doing? I mean, this is, I'm super excited about this glitch and I'm, I'm very happy to work with it. I'm very happy that he found it. Uh, he had just sent the, uh, the, the, I think it was the hatches and the doors. Those, those are the first things. And then we started playing with other things. And yeah, so, oh no, I've, I've turned. Oh, hold on. I'm not flipped upside down. Hold on. Can, can we, can I get upside down, please? Please just, no, I don't want to fix it. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe that's a bad idea. Here we go. Can, can I get it to flip, please? Here, let's try right here and flip. <laughs> when you want it to flip, but it won't. Okay, well, that's that's good. That's Here, this is a great example. Truck is stuck. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so the truck is stuck. All right, normally we'd sit here and we'd try and move it with our axes, or we'd try and kick it, we'd try and open the doors and the tailgate, and we'd just try and get it go out. It wouldn't work, right? So what we can do, open that, open that, use that tiny floor, and I'm just gonna hit T for turn. Boink! <laughs> turn it again. There we go. I am corrected. <laughs> what? Code! And if you want to do like 90 degree turns, boop. Huge shout out to Fezzik for uh, showing this to me, but I uh, had already found it. I just hadn't recorded it yet. So Fezzik Jr., shout out to you, because you did send it to me, and I'm like, yep, I know, I know, I know. Wait, just give me a second. I'm doing something, because I wanted to come and record this. But I didn't want I didn't want to be overly excited and just start blasting Twitter with it and stuff like that. So uh, here we go. We can we can travel wherever we want with our trucks now without worry of of flipping or destroying our trucks, you know. And there's other implications that we can do, like going under the map. I'll show you that here in a second. Let's let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for a little joy ride, you know. Oh no, I flipped my truck again. There we go. Keep going, keep going. It's fine. Absolutely fine. Fine. What about over here? Can I? No! Oh no! I flipped my truck again. Okay, I'm just gonna rotate it this one time, and then uh, that should set me up. So turn and come on, stop rocking. Turn. There we go. Done. <laughs> ah! You, you also may have noticed that I didn't gel my hair. It's the weekend, you know, and I didn't want to put a whole bunch of gel in my hair just to come in here and get rid of it. You know, just for just for a recording. That's never fun, you know? Whee! Oh no, I flipped my truck again! Uh, do a rotate, and I'm gonna do a turn and a turn. By the way, this is going to take a little bit of getting used to as far as like how the um, how this the the rotations work. So if we're looking in context to this to to the blueprint itself, a turn is always going to go counterclockwise to the world, counterclockwise. So I could sit here and turn it all day long. It's always going to go counterclockwise. Um, a turn is always going to go towards the sun set. And away from the sunrise. So there is sunrise over there. So if I put it here, I'm going to tilt backwards, okay, when I do a turn. Ready? 
and turn. So I can pop a wheelie if I need to. Or if I if I do it from the front like this, away from the sun, and turn. So, parents, all right, if you need to, your kiddos are asking you for help, or if grandma comes to you and says, hey, what was that thing that code told you about the flippy thing? Just remember, it's always counterclockwise with the rotation, always away from the sun, uh, sunrise, or towards sunset. So, those are the things. Hi, 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 are you bored? Bored? Well, well, I have something for you. Meet me at the rock bridge. Up on the volcano. Winky face. Let's go! Like I said, it only works on loose items. And the rock bridge just happens to be a loose item. <laughs> oh, goodness me. What have you gotten yourself into, Code? Yes. There's multiple things that you can do with this particular glitch. This is being one of them. Being able to go and and grab. Oh, I wonder if I can grab a boulder. No way. No. Because a boulder is a loose item. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. There we go. That should give me at least one boulder. Just one boulder. I'm, I may have to go up to the top. Oh, there. Oh, there it was. Oh, there's two. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Rotate. 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 Turn. Rotate. Rotate. Turn. They're not attaching. Okay. So there's no there's no weld on that. Oh, this is gonna be horrible. Oh gosh! Oh, bro, run, 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 run! Okay, so we can't well. No, 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 no! Step, 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 step! Out, out! No! Stay. Oh, oh, get away from me! Oh, you're so mean! No! <laughs> I died. <laughs> I died. I died. I died. I died. Oh my goodness! That's the first. I think. I think it's gotten harder. I think Defaultio has changed the volcano. That or I'm getting old. Who knows? <laughs> rip oof. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, rip. <laughs> <gasps> I have an idea. No, that wouldn't work. It, because it would only change the one door, it wouldn't change all the doors. I was thinking, what if you lowered a bridge and then you used it on like one of the doors and turned it? But it, it wouldn't take the rest of the doors because it's a local turn. For those of you that don't understand what I'm talking about, a local is only things that you own that are currently being drawn by your your client. It's a it has to do with network server stuff. So if I were to try and turn say somebody else's car that I don't own, it won't work. Hi buddy. Hello what did you say? E <laughs> Are you, are you gonna get in? Are you gonna jump in? Beep beep. E at your base. Oh, Bob's at my base. Um, I'm I'm up on the mountain. Oh, by the way, a lot of people are probably asking, Code, where's your coffee right now? We had Taco Bell, so I'm I'm trying to finish off my Dr Pepper. <laughs> So, okay, okay, okay. Here's a great example. So, this is something that I own, my truck, right? I can do a rotate on it all day long. But if I try and rotate his car, right? It's it's not, I don't own that. It's not mine. Even if I jump on it, it doesn't see it. The server doesn't pass it, okay? Even if I jump into the passenger side and try and rotate it, it does not rotate. I think, yeah, well, I'm going to die if I try that again. Oops, sorry. Lo, what happened to your truck? <laughs> You're going to see during the video, buddy. Boink, boink, 
Boink. I can do wink. 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 Twink. Boink. Boink. And on the top. And on the top. It goes, uh. <laughs> oh, yeah. It is. It is weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. You can do it with the wheels individually, too, by the way. You can do a. Just turn one of the wheels. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> I wonder if I can do. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, I'm upside down. By the way, this does not work with cars because cars stick your face into the ground and you become upside down. Wee! <laughs> Okay, truck, roll over. Good boy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's do this thing. Don't be suspicious. 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 Ooh, there we go. There we go. All right. So, basically, I'm just, I'm going to steal <laughs> the rock bridge. Here we go. Go down. Ooh, and I don't really care if I fall because I can always flip it later. Do, 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 do. Why am I even going backwards? I mean, I don't have to worry about flipping anymore. There we go. Uh, down, down, down. Down, 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 down. Woo! All right. That's good. So... I'm just going to stand here like this. Okay, hold on. Let's see if anybody else is coming down. Uh, is anyone else at the rock, rock bridge? Oh, there he is. There he is. He's coming down. He's coming down. Hey, buddy. Hey. <laughs> All right, so basically, I'm just gonna take this right here. I'm gonna turn it twice, and then I have to bump it. The reason you have to bump it, like, you you really have to think of like where the blueprint is in relation to where you're going to try and turn it to. Because if I were to just take and willy nilly throw it on here somewhere, like if I throw it on this corner, it's going to rotate around that point, right? So it's gonna do this huge helicopter thing. If I take and do it right here, it's going to rotate around the middle, like like this, you know? And if I do it on the far right, it'll helicopter on the opposite side. So I'm going to take it right here and I'm going to do a turn, turn, okay? That's going to flip it upwise, so it's it's facing it towards, towards me. And then again, like this, just like that, boink. And then I touch. <laughs> Did you see it? <laughs> this. Oh, is it going down? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he sees it. Okay. So let's just do turn, turn. There you go. <laughs> Oh, oh, it didn't do it that time. Okay, so, touches, and turn. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, maybe we need to do a turn, turn. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> it's like, wow. <laughs> oh, no exploits, no hacks, not needed. Here, let's go down this way. Oops, oops. Oh no. Wee. <laughs> uh, and turn. Is that a hole? 
<laughs> I wonder if I can go sell it. Can we go sell it off? <laughs> Let's try and go sell off the uh, the rock bridge. Oh no. I don't think it's worth anything, right? Turn. There we go. <laughs> By the way, don't do this on somebody else's base, okay? Because you could seriously mess up. Some, uh, well, I don't know. If everything's low, the, the whole thing would... Would it? I don't... <gasps> no! Oh, we dropped it! We dropped it below the... Because oh! it turned... So it was up like this, I touched here, here's the ground, when I did a turn... Dang it! That was my fault. Hi, buddy! Hi! So I just lost the, the rock bridge. Ugh, poop. <laughs> oh, what are we at? We're at 21 minutes. Let's go um, to the snow, snow biome. To the snow biome. Biome. No TNT. You're like, wait, code. How how would you do this with no TNT? I'll show you. Now, I made a video a long time ago that de demonstrated if you can push one of the rocks, right? If you if you can get it so far away from its original position, it will destroy. It will disappear. Because if it's pushed by um, TNT, it registers as, hey, there was an explosion. Same thing kind of happens when you do this. Rotate. Boop. <laughs> and turn. There we go. Hey, what did you jump out for? Hold on, hold on. We're not done yet, we're not done yet. He goes, nice glitch. Oh, you have no idea, dude. You have no idea. Hold on. Okay, so this takes some skill because you have to figure out how to rotate into uh, the base itself. So um, if I rotate here, this should put my tail in that direction. So let's go rotate just like that. <laughs> Got it. Turn, turn, and turn. And we're in. <laughs> oh, oh, Code, what are you doing? You know, just hanging out, having fun. How did you make it? <laughs> it's a little known thing that I happen to do. <laughs> Thank you. And it will be in tomorrow's video. Share with your friends. <laughs> Winky face. <laughs> come, come. No, I'm, I'm, I'm recording, dude. I'm recording. Right now. No. <laughs> oh wait, am I stuck? What happened? There we go. Come, my friend. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna follow you over there. I'm in the middle of a recording, dude. I wonder if I can move Hoover. Oh, can we move Hoover? No. No. Surely not. Okay, Hoover's not over here, so I can't test that. I wonder if we can move the the bridge. Oh. Hey. 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 We can get into places, right? Let's go over to the circle bridge, or the, the circle cave. Circle cave, circle cave, circle cave, circle cave, circle cave, circle cave. Come on, circle cave. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the half circle that has been over here since like the beginning of the game, whenever there was supposed to be like a boat shop or something over here. It's not a boat shop, and I don't think he's ever implicated a, a boat shop or gave us any kind of indication that he was going to ever make a boat shop, but... Here we go. Ready? And... Rotate! <laughs> We're in. Hey, buddy. Lights on. Oh, 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 oh. I need to rotate one more time. Hold on. Uh, ro rotate. Ro 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 rotate. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
There we go. We're in. <laughs> Screenshot. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I don't know that there's any way I can rotate and stay safe on here. Hold on. Can I rotate right about... Right about there? Oh, there we go. Woo! Yeah, I was... Gotta be careful. <laughs> oh, man. We are back behind there. There... That's all there is back back here. There's just a, a circle. Red. Are you seeing this? <laughs> so, that's what it looks like underneath the map and everything else. Okay, so let's do, let's back up some and I'm gonna try and rotate us again. Rotate, <gasps> oh gosh. Oh, I could just turn us up on our side. Like that, that'd be fine. We do that. Let's do. Let's do. Uh, rotate. Oh no! No! <clears throat> it's okay. It's okay. It's a void kill. Okay. Even if the person had um, axes or something like that, void kills. You don't lose your axes. And the reason for that is because it destroys your body before the script can say, "Hey, I need. I, I just died. I need to spit up my axes." That's why void kills are okay. But if your life goes down and you do not get the, um, the, if your body gets destroyed or if your life goes to zero before the parts are destroyed, then yes, you absolutely lose your, uh, your axes. Hi, right, buddy. Are you in? Are you jumping in my car for me? <laughs> this is awesome. Um, what other things could we possibly do? Hmm. I wonder. Ooh! There. <laughs> sure enough, that one right there is... You can turn it. Everything else. Hello? Hello? Somebody opened the door. Hello? Liz? Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, wait. Did you just lower the... Can we rotate that? No. Can't do that. I'm supposed to be in school today. Well, why don't you go to school, sir? Can I turn in your car? It doesn't work on other people's things. It looks funny, though. Yay! <laughs> oh. My car still sees it, though. Hold on. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. 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 <laughs> nope. Right, are you trying to are you trying to hook this up to my car? Is that what you're trying to do? I think I think that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to hook it up to my car. I don't know how this is going to work though because Yeah. Yeah, see? I don't think that's going to work. You subbed to my channel. Thank you, family. Appreciate it. Rotate, 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 rotate. rotate. Wee! Ooh! Oof! <laughs> Wee! Dude, the lag delay is so funny. Hi, hi, family! Oh! Car Wars is a thing of the past now, because you can... You can absolutely hear. Hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get inside here while they're closed. <laughs> <laughs> People are like, wait, what? <laughs> oh no. Uh, hold on, I gotta back up to the door. There we go. 
And ready and rotate. <laughs> and rotate. And we're out. <laughs> <laughs> that is too cool. He says, "Help! Help me!" Oh, is it? Is this your? Whose car is this? Whose car is this? Whose car is this? Hold on. Oh, oh dear! Oh dear, 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 dear. Whitelist me, dude. Whitelist me, and I can flip it over. Whitelist me, I'll flip it over. Mm. Who's is who's it? Speedy? Speedy, did you whitelist me? Oh, yep, he sure did. Okay, so all right, one tiny floor coming up. Rotate, rotate, and turn. And turn. Welcome. <laughs> Look at his eyes. He's like, what in the world? Oh, screenshot, screenshot. Screenshot. <laughs> He's like, how? How did you do that, Code? <laughs> like I said, game-changing glitches coming to you from Code Primate Labs. Sorry. It's it's a collaboration of different things that have have accumulated, bit from the simple fact that it would uh, it would weld, to then somebody showing that it could turn things, to the fact that it works on loose items, to the fact like my brain is exploding with different ideas of what this could mean and do for Lumber Tycoon Two from this point forward. This is this changes the dynamic of how our cars flip, how we treat our cars and stuff like that. This is huge. Like this is this is big, you know? So thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins Code Primate Screenshot. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things that I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos because YouTube says, hey, you need to do a call to action. And remember, this is a family-friendly channel. It's not kid-intended. I'm not directing it towards kids. It's for your dads. It's for your moms. It's for grandma. It's for the dog. It's for all of us. Because I got tired of what was happening to YouTube. And I got tired of the way kid stuff was was being cursed and cusses and just the... the puke and toxicity that came out of YouTube my kids were watching that and you know what I thought I don't like the way that that works because I can't sit with my kids and enjoy watching something I can't let my kids go and watch something without worrying if they're cursing or cussing and it's a it's a game it's a video gameplay so I went off and seek of better pastures or better content that's what the channel is about that's why I'm here. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. Outro. Thank you.